vlog. Today we are still in Nara Gorge. I'm still with this group of photographers and we are photographing inside a forest as you can see along a small creek. The, the final point of our route is a waterfall. Of course in Nara Gorge you come here to photograph especially waterfalls. The vegetation looks saturated because it rained all night. I hoped for fog in the forest, unfortunately there is none, but as I said, the vegetation looks full, looks rich, looks saturated, so I think it's going to look okay. We're going to have some interesting photos. I think I'm starting to photograph the place by paying more attention to detail. At least for now, this is how I feel and this is the way I decided to photograph. So the first photos that you're going to see are vegetation details and close-ups, but right now I've arrived to this really small bridge and I decided to frame it in some way similar to what you are seeing right now. I would call this scene to be picturesque, to, to have, uh, let's say, a countryside look if you want. As a general advice, you should photograph always as you are feeling. It's not a rule to start with the big picture and then move to smaller details or vice versa. You can photograph whatever is important to you, whatever feels that needs to be photographed. This is at least my way of thinking and doing things. For example, as I'm seeing there, a light at the end of this trail. And I think this also will look interesting. Sometimes going around and trying to photograph the same subject from different uh, places may result or may lead to really and completely different photos. It is the case of this last waterfall where I photographed it from a point and then I moved around it and photographed it from another point. Now I'm standing here and I see another shot. Let me show you. you 
we've reached an area where there are lots of plants that have these white flowers and this creates a really beautiful and interesting contrast and also it's very photogenic you have the trail in the middle and on the sides you have these places with these white flowers it's really beautiful subject. You just have to pay attention and be open to the subject that appears. the same opportunity. Photographing it from two sides gives two complete different photos. And this means exploring the possibilities and exploring a situation or a place until you feel that you've managed to capture all its angle. It's, it's better to reach home with more photos than not to have an interesting photo at all. final point of our hike, the waterfall. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to fly the drone over there. It depends on the vegetation. Again, another vlog is ending. We had some great time. We did some wonderful photos, I think. And it's time for us to return. Now, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for similar kind of videos. You can post a comment, ask a question, say your opinion on this channel, on these videos, say whatever you want. <laughs> Until next time, keep on photographing. It's the only way that you can get better. Bye-bye.